All right, the most unique resume format. Bro. <laughs> I mean, if you just want to get roasted, we can do it. But this is kind of a meme. It's it's cool, but it's kind of a meme. Let me make sure you don't have your like phone number or something on here. Like, it's so hard to read. I don't even know where you'd put your phone number. You guys will get it in a second. I'm sorry, chat. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I have to... By the way, change your file name if you send it and you still redact your information because you guys keep putting your first name and last name as your file name and then I don't want that to get shown on accident or anything. So if you can, just put anonymous resume. All right, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Um, I, I mean, like, I'm trying, I'm, just wait, just. <sighs> this is not a program. This is not, I, you can't type in this. This is not an IDE. This is not a text editor. This is just a PDF. This is difficult. So imagine you're an HR person and you've never seen any text formatted like this before and this looks like gibberish to you. And like you have to get the right person to appreciate this. Okay. I I this is a bet. I mean, you're making a bet here for sure. LinkedIn. Yes, I have it. <laughs> Hold on, you guys can't see it, but it's a cool idea. Difficult to read. Career objective. I don't know. I'd probably change this to be summary if you want to keep it like, like this. It'd be cool for a React job. You just have to hope the, the person that, that gets it knows what it is. This is kind of hard to read. Um, if you could space them out, like your work experience section, it's just difficult to read. If you had just maybe add some space below here so I can see that we're going to see what you did here. That's all. Just the formatting makes it difficult. This is a resume. It's a PDF. HR lady's downstairs. She's like, is this a resume? HR lady says... HR lady says, HR lady says, I would open this resume and think something's wrong with my computer. Then, I would try to click on these and then she would close it and reopen it and think something is wrong. But that's, I mean, I'm, see what I'm saying? Like, you got to hope that you get the right person. <laughs> I think it's cool. I don't think it's very pragmatic or practical. I think if you were applying directly to the CTO for a React position, then this is what you'd be using. But for everything else, I don't know. <laughs> a virus. Like <laughs> HRLA says it looks like a virus. Oh, oh my goodness. Know. See, this is the problem with HR people. You're proving my point, okay? <laughs> it's creative, okay? So... It's creative, and I think it's nice, but you just have to get the right person, okay? That was it. That was it, Jet. <laughs> Probably think it's glitched. The HR ladies type person, you could be like, just download some more RAM, and she'd be like, okay, what's the link? <laughs> um... 
Um, okay, maybe like go look at some of the previous streams and look at some of the formats that were were good. Like the last, the last resume of the last stream, I believe it was the second to last, maybe, but it was really good. So maybe look at that format and then have both, right? And then for 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 the ones where you're feeling a little bit, you're feeling a little bit creative, feeling a little bit risky, maybe send. Maybe send this, but otherwise probably just go with you know vanilla. Look, see, look, look. We got some dude in the chat right now who's like, "Excuse me, why is uh, Kant's skills wrapped?" Uh huh. Imagine if you actually made a coding mistake inside your resume, <laughs> and you submit it, and <laughs> and the guy's like, "Uh, there's a there's a bug in your resume, bro. If this was actual code." So you better hope this this is on point, and career has a typo. It's just it's uh it's only one e in career. Okay, I'm just kidding. Take out the r. <laughs> There's only one.